And the train has left the station. Hello, everybody. It's Scott here, and this is High Water. It's from Demagogue Studios, and it's available on iOS and Android. I'm currently playing through on my iPad, and it is part of the Netflix bundle. So if you're subscribed to the streaming service, then you'll have access to this game. But if not, then no worries, because it's also available on PC and console as well. But is High Water worth the plunge? Well, we shall see. We shall see. Oh, he's got a mate coming up on the carriage there. Okay. Right, let's take this on. So, what is this game? Well, it is a story-driven 3D exploration game with, as you can see now, isometric turn-based combat. And I want to try and get through this battle unscathed to show you exactly what this is all about. So, let's try our best with this. So, we've got a wrench. We're going to clobber him over the head. We're just going to tap on him in order to attack. And, oof! Clang, clang, clang goes the trolleys. Ring, ring, ring with the bell. If we send our Nikos over here to pick up this rock, will that be enough we'll be able to reach? Oh, actually, perhaps we can switch to a fishing rod and send it over. And where will this send him? We'll bring him one step closer there. No worries. I think if we can just... Bide our time and survive this round. Ooh, but with a whack like that, it's going to be difficult. We may be able to pull this orange blight off the train. And will he survive one more? Oh, just hanging on. The key to this game is using your environment. Our team aren't well prepared at all. This is just survival at its core. So using the environment to our advantage is what's best. And if we tap down here on the left, we can access our actions. And we're currently equipped with the orb. But if we click on the fishing rod and we perhaps use that, can we pull him down one? And he's over. Yes. And that's eliminated one of them. Perfect. And I think our boy George here has just enough to access the wrench and give him a right little clunk. And he's down. Beautiful. Now, does that give enough time for us? Yes, it does. Victory all around. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. To the boat, as they say. And we are jumped in, and that leads us perfectly into explaining what this game actually is all about. So, the world, as you can see, this isn't just your standard street, it's become flooded. Environmental and climate warnings were completely ignored, and in fact, corporations and governments lent into the flooding and tried to make it part of the norm. They reclassified what the term flooding was in order to avoid having to pay damages. Society has been split into two different factions right now. You've got those who are living behind fortified walls. They're ultra rich and they are living life as if nothing happened. It's as if Fiddler's Green was located in Waterworld. Both of those films with Dennis Hopper, so how about that? And then you've got the rest of society who are living on these little scraps of earth that are poking up through the ground. Vestiges of the old world still surviving. It is rumoured that those in Alphaville are planning to relocate to Mars because Earth is no longer habitable. And we are controlling Nikos, 17-year-old photographer, on the right here, wearing the blue. And he's named after a Greek poet who wrote a spiritual successor to the Odyssey because he himself is on an odyssey of sorts. And all of this right now, we are currently controlling the raft. This is our exploration. And you can see on the bottom right here, this mini-map. Yellow is the main quest, white are optional side quests. So we're gonna jump over here to see what's available on this little dock. And a lot of the game is this, exploring little islands, seeing what we can scavenge, seeing what we can pick up. And there's a lot of environmental storytelling as well. Mandatory dysentery vaccination for all Alphaville citizens. As you can see, Alphaville have got it good. They're living the life of Riley right now. And that's what's beautiful about this game. There's a lot of wonderful narrative about what survival is. It's not just finding food and making sure you can defend yourself. Not at all. It's also about the connections you have with the fellow people. It's about laughter in the face of adversity. Right now, hooking up a TV to a battery just so you can watch an old VHS. And it is a football game. Oh, and we didn't even get to see if it was a goal or not. Never mind. And a lot of the narrative is about life isn't just surviving, it's about living. Earlier on, we attended a wedding but our player character, Nikos, was saying, you know, why? There's better things that we need to be doing. We need to be exploring. We need to be finding food. We need to be surviving. But our mate goes, no. 
This is life. What's the point of surviving if you can't live your life? And that's what we're doing now. We are trying to find our way into Alphaville so we can sneak onto the rocket or at least try and get access so we can get off this planet as well. So we've got a few of our team here. Our team is growing as we go through. It's very difficult to place where this is set and I think that's on purpose. There's some German influences, there's some Turkish, there's some Greek influences and it is all punctuated by a beautiful soundtrack and this high water pirate radio. Having a spoken narrative voice over the airwaves really helps ground what this experience is on this body of water. So if we just carry on round and go through these trees, I'm just trying to find where this yellow dot is so that we can park up and hopefully, there it is, just there. So we can see the marker, hopefully advance with the story. So we've seen a little bit what the battle looks like on the trains and now I think as we land on Alphaville Petroleum I do think there's another battle awaiting for us. Yeah, this doesn't look good. Okay, what are we coming into? Up there, one on the roof. This is an Alpha Villain. If you're from Alphaville you are an Alpha Villain. They are seemingly draining all the gasoline but we need some gasoline for our raft so it's time to Alrighty, so once again, we've got a few people around. Let's have a look. We've got these two on the ground, also this robot dog, and one guy on the roof. How are we supposed to do this? Maybe if we send Nikos over to here, could he possibly get in with the fishing rod? Let's have a look. Will he reach? Oh, I think he can reach. Oh, is he gonna pull him down? Yes, mate. Beautiful. And that took a huge chunk of health as well. So if we take control of Laura here, tap over to this adjoining square, and hopefully give him a right little kick. Give him a tap there. And boom, perfect. That's one guy down, okay. We are doing okay. So George, what can George do? Let's explore options with this car. Is there anything that can happen with this? If we tap that and press this, what will happen? He's ripping off the car door and we have a shield. Beautiful. And we'll move over one. No, nope, that's absolutely fine. We're gonna end our turn there. Oh, sorry, I just undid that. That's a, that's a good option about this game though, is that you can undo turns and just restart at any point. So you have the option to explore and you have the option to see what's around you. Because, yeah, because they throw out new environmental. Ooh, beautiful. No damage done. They find out they put out new environmental um, interactive objects. So, of course, you have to explore what those are. And we just got zapped by this dog. Wonderful. And we've got one other guy. We can speed up just by tapping the screen. So, now... We've got this here. Can we bunt him with this? Let's give it a shot. And a thwack. Ooh, that was a large amount of damage. Wow. Nice one. Nice one. What can we do with Nikos here? Let's send him over to the dog and give him a thwack with the oar. Let's give it a try. One thwack with an oar, please. Bad dog. Slam, two health taken. And now let's take Laura over to here. We should be able to reach. What's this jump? Oh, a three range. Yeah, beautiful. Look at it go. Let's see this. Yes. Like a grasshopper. And let's give a kick to our boy over here in the orange. Whack, slam, down to the ground. Beautiful. This is how we like to see it. And let's try and finish up this. Then we'll, we'll speed through because it's their turn. We know what's gonna happen. Oh no, Laura's down. We've lost Laura. Laura is down. It's not a permadeath, which is good. We will still be able to get through, but what's the order? Should we take these out? Okay, George, give our dude, let's dispatch of this dude, give him a thwack. Boom, he's down. We're one down. Nikos, let's switch to your oar. Paddle the dog. 
boom, dog's down. Only one guy left with three health, which works well for us because I think George, if we bring him over to here, he should be able to thwack with this. And behind the AP sign, we have dispatched of the final goon and it is victory for us. Whew. We've got our gasoline. Cool folks walking away from an explosion in the background. There we go. Beautiful. Alrighty, back onto the open water, my friends. And with this, I'm gonna leave you there. Let us know what you think. Is this a game that you'd like to play yourself? Would you like to explore these waters? Or do you have thalassophobia and uh, would rather avoid this? But yes, for now, everybody, luck and watch you all and catch you next time.